how you can go from broke to signing your very first SMMA client in less than 30 days. There are a lot of people now who have joined the Agency Academy and each one signed their very first client within 30 days or less, and some in as little as 14 days. And in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly how they did it. So I think firstly, the misinformation here on YouTube is astonishing. You don't need to sign your first client for $3,000 per month or even $2,000 per month. When you're starting out, the hard hardest part of the process is signing your first and second client and getting that momentum. I always say when you're starting out, you don't need to charge a lot of money because the money will come. To me, you need to get experience and that is gonna be so much more valuable than the money. When I started, my first client paid me $1,000 and my second paid me 2,500, but I could have signed multiple clients before this at even $500, but I valued money over gaining experience and this was a big mistake. I wasted months all over $500 and the likelihood of you keeping your first client long term is low because you're learning and basically just figuring out what works and what doesn't and they're kind of a guinea pig in a way. You will learn so much more and it's all the little things like how you communicate with a client, how to conduct your check-in calls, your onboarding calls, delivering results and all the logistics and all this can only be learned by having a client and you're going to be able to refine this and learn from your mistakes and then sign another client, then another all while refining the process. Now, this doesn't mean you have to work for free. I'm not saying you have to sign your first client on a free trial because you can get a client at a thousand or even two thousand dollars if you're confident. I mean, I have multiple people inside the program and their first clients or two or even, you know, three clients were at two or three thousand dollars because they were confident on the call and they came across as they knew what they were doing. But I'm saying it's not the reality for a lot of people and certainly wasn't for me. By charging a lower return you're able to sign clients quicker and grow the agency faster. Too many people want to see massive wins early, but you're looking for a quick win when you should be looking to build a sustainable and long-term business with a five-year vision rather than a five-minute one. Now, something I haven't mentioned, and there is reasons for that, is your network. Now, if you're like me, none of your friends or family have ever had a business or you know have businesses so i just couldn't really reach out to them and sign them on and this will be the case for majority of you now if you are lucky enough to have people you know that own businesses i still want you to ask yourself is this going to be in the best interest of our relationship because if you don't get results then it can kind of make things a little awkward only you can answer this, but you know, some of you might say, yes, you can. And some of you will be able to leverage your network and maybe get some beta clients from it and others won't. So getting your first client isn't easy, but many people have done it. And a common theme I see among them is that they understand what's truly important. None of them built a website. They didn't worry about a business name. They didn't worry about building social media accounts. All they focused on was picking a niche, picking a service, conducted market research to really understand what the prospect was struggling with and created an offer that would solve that problem. That's it guys. Don't overcomplicate it. They followed a clear process and framework and then just started outreaching. I've said it so many times, if you really have a good offer, you will be able to set meetings very easily, which means you'll have a high chance of signing a client quickly. The more meetings you set, the more people you talk to, and the more people you talk to, the more money you make. As soon as you learn something and you take a golden nugget from a video, actually apply it. Less than 1% of people actually apply anything they learn. It's all about speed and implementation. Once you apply it, then you'll have real time feedback and you'll be able to adapt and change what you need to and then go back and repeat the process and soon enough you're making five, 10 or even 15,000 per month. You need to always be open to change and be nimble and light on your feet and have the ability to pivot at a moment's notice. If you don't have a client after six months, it's because you're doing something wrong. And for me, I could book meetings, but on the meeting, I didn't know what to say and I said all the wrong things, which resulted in me not getting any sales. You need to do the basics well and stop. And I repeat, stop searching for the perfect script or the perfect outreach method because it doesn't exist. Don't get caught up in all these YouTube videos showing you the next XYZ method to get clients because it's all the same thing that you know already and it's just marketed in a different way. I'm here to tell you everything works and I mean everything but it only works if you actually do it. Too many people think they want to do this, and they think they want to hit 10K per month or sign a client, but 
they don't like the amount of work it actually requires, so they don't do it. I don't think it's 100% necessary to sign clients for free, but if you aren't confident, that will show on your calls. So if you've had between 30 and 50 calls and you haven't signed a client, maybe it is time to do some free work in exchange for a testimonial. The reality is once you have the first two clients, it becomes so much easier to sign more. There is such a thing as a snowball effect and it usually takes place when you have two clients. So don't be afraid to get clients on a lower retainer just to gain experience. When you have testimonials and clients, you can leverage that to get more and more and more. Soon enough, you've got 50 testimonials and your pitch is, hey, here are the results we get for these people. Do you want the same for your business? That's it. It's a simple decision that's pure logic. Yes or no. I can assure you, if you do 2000 pieces of outreach in 30 days, you will get a client. I've done a video breaking down the maths before, and to me, it doesn't even take this many if you have a good offer. All I want you to focus on is to create a great offer, something that is a no brainer for them. They mustn't have any risk. Offer a guarantee or something where that they don't have to pay the price if you don't deliver. If you do this and it's something they genuinely want and need, you will get meetings and those meetings will turn into clients. Stop thinking and just do. Take action rather than thinking about what action you should take. Pick your niche, pick your service, create an offer, and go out there and reach out to as many business owners as you possibly can.